Tammy Brock here with Tammy Lynn Home Team, and I'm here interviewing Caroline Adius with the Boulevard Hair Company. I'm so excited. Um, mostly, um, she's got some really cool things to tell you about, um, and also, this is where I go um, get my hair done, um, and I've been coming here for the last at least eight years. Um, and I, I love it so much. So I'm gonna let you um, hear from Caroline and then um, what she maybe doesn't mention and I wanna share with you, we'll just wrap up with that. So I have only owned the business since February 1st. Also, of 2023. Was at the original location. I have been here going on I think 15 years, I don't know exactly to be oh, honest wow. with you, 15 or 16 years I've been part of the Boulevard Hair Company. That's awesome. Yeah. So we focus on color and cut. Our ladies are precision cutters and they do all the colors, the balayage, full highlight, um, all over color. They are really focusing on women's hair. We do have some men that come in, mm -hmm. but mostly women. This is mostly a women's industry in here. Gotcha. Very yeah. good. Yeah, and yesterday I had my hair highlighted, and um, we were just talking about different types of color, and I would say here they are like very, I would describe you as very professional. We are more professional and natural. Professional and natural. Most That's of, what I was looking yes, for. Yes, our girls focus on a lived-in look, which is a natural look that you would look at someone and not really know if they get their hair done or not. Mm, I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I see that you offer um, hair care products. We so do. Tell me about that. So right now we are carrying Moroccan oil and leaf and flower. It's my favorite. Moroccan oil is It is a huge seller. It, <laughs> it is smells a, so good. It does. It smells good. It doesn't have a lot of harsh ingredients in it. Um, the leaf and flower is very clean. That's a plant-based product okay. that I personally love. I love Moroccan oil, but I love leaf and flower. Um, those are our two lines that we offer right now. I'm going to have to give that a try. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know if we necessarily are set apart. We, um, we I think, do a good job working well with other hair salons. Mm -hmm. Sending, like yesterday, we sent a client to um, Crystal and Sage, which they are friends of ours. Um, I love that. <laughs> I think that we are very family-oriented. Mm -hmm. You bring your kids in. Um, all the girls here bring their kids in if they need to. We're really big on that. I don't necessarily think that we're set apart from anyone, though, okay. to be honest with you. Gotcha. I, I'll tell you what I feel like sets them apart. So when I go um, for some type of service, whether it be to a restaurant or um, to get my nails done, I, I do base my experience on three things, and that, that's customer service, it's ambiance, and then... What, what product am I getting, like, mm -hmm. at the end of the day? Like, a restaurant, it would be the food. Um, and I say, um, for the Boulevard Hair Company, they get fives across the board because <laughs> you come in here, and it, it is absolutely beautiful, so you feel so comfortable and so elegant, and just it just feels good in the salon. Oh, that's so good to hear. Um, so, and, of course, Brittany does such a wonderful job on my hair. She's um, awesome. And she is awesome. I mean, look how friendly Caroline is. I mean, you just, you can't beat it. It is a family atmosphere. It Yesterday, is. There, it were, is. there were kids, and um, again, th that banter, that salon banter. Yes. I, love, well, I love to hear it. It's we, very... We're all friends in here, and we just get along, and it's kind of just like hanging out. I hate yeah, to say it like it that, is. but it's like we're all just hanging out. Yes. And yeah. if you've never watched Steel Magnolias, have you watched that? I show? have. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, Well, I did not think that I would be a salon owner. This is not. This was not my goal that I set out. Um, when I was 17, I was receptionist at a hair salon in my hometown, okay. Little Washington. So not far. Okay, yep, not gotcha. far from here. I swept hair. I made phone calls. All that jazz. Um, and then when I moved over to Greenville to go to school, I got another job as a hair. I mean, hair as a receptionist at a hair salon. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and I did that and then decided to go to cosmetology school. I was just very interested in it, loved being at work. Um, it was just a good time, so I'm like, why not go to school for it? So I went to cosmetology school and then I worked in a salon for one year that was a commission-based salon. Okay. It was a good experience. I learned a lot when you're in a commission-based salon. You have um, more help. Okay. You have a lot of guidance to where you are being educated on what, because when you first come out of school, it's very, very challenging. Um, sure. And then after, very, 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 and after that year, I was approached by the original owner of the Boulevard Hair Company, which was Sarah Coltrane. Okay. She owns Coltrane Hardware, her and her husband now. Okay, and is that an Aiden? Yes. Okay, Yes, wow. and she opened up Salt, which is okay. down the road from us. Okay, putting all the puzzles So together. she was the original owner, so I was asked if I wanted to join the team. Mm -hmm. It was her and Micah. Okay. And I came in, and I have been here ever since. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. I love that our community is smaller. It's not a tiny little town to where you don't have Target and Starbucks and, <laughs> and Big Kinks. And, because you can't live without Target. Who doesn't enjoy all that stuff? Um, and events. Um, I love that our town has events. Mm -hmm. um, so I really like that aspect of it. But I also really like the aspect that it doesn't take me 45 minutes to get 10 miles down the road like Raleigh. Right. <laughs> now our traffic has our traffic has gotten worse, I feel like, but not as bad as bigger cities. Mm -hmm. So I like the smaller aspect of Greenville as well to where you can get across town quicker. Absolutely. If you need to. I think as long as it's not eight o'clock and five o'clock or ECU game day. Yes. You can get anywhere pretty much anywhere in about fifteen minutes. Yes. And I like that. When I go into a store, I see someone that I know. I do, I do. I like that. I, I like that I don't always see someone I know like you would in a tiny little town. Right. But you do run into people that you know and friendly faces, and I enjoy that. I love that. Honestly, my husband and I really just love going around town and going to the greenways and the mm -hmm. parks with our kids. That's our big thing that we do. Right. Um, we like to go out to eat at good restaurants, but other than that, we just like to go visit the parks and greenways. My favorite restaurant would be Meeting Ground. Okay. And yeah. it's a newer restaurant. It is. Um, and he owned the Prevail food truck prior right. to the Meeting Ground. Mm -hmm. And um, he's just a phenomenal chef, and his wife is so friendly, and we really enjoy going there. I agree. I agree. I went there last week, and... Um, Never had a bad meal. Mm -mm. So it's always good. It is always good. Always good. And, and talking about a restaurant that gets five stars. Yes. In all three customer categories. service. Yes. yes. All the way. It's beautiful in there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> great customer service. Mm -hmm. Great food. We do not have family here. Um, well, my dad actually just moved here not too okay. long ago. Um, I grew up in Washington, and when my mom passed away, my dad decided to move here to be closer to family. Gotcha. Um, but I have family in Raleigh, so no other family here, though. Lots of friends. I've been here for a long time, so I have a lot of friends that are like family. Okay. So did your family move from Raleigh to Little Washington? Um, so my dad is originally from Plymouth, and my mom is from Washington originally. Okay. They moved around. He owned a business. So he had multiple businesses in different places, and they moved a few times, but landed in Washington, and that's where we stayed. So you have entrepreneurial blood. I guess like. so. I guess so. <laughs> I would love to have more family-oriented things to do. Mm -hmm. um, just events, things like that. We have some, but I feel like we could have more. We could do more of that. Friendly. Mm -hmm. It's a friendly town. <laughs> if you're out and about, even if you do not know somebody, you're going to get a smile. Right. And I enjoy that. Same here. Yeah. Uh, the community has supported our business for over 15 years by coming in and being consistent clients. We have the best clients, I will say. 
They have nothing but good things to say outside of the salon. And they continue to come after all these years. They recommend their friends and their family, and that's big. And we're still in business. Absolutely. <laughs> and around here, word of mouth means everything. Mm -hmm. And I have built my business on referrals and just getting to know people in the name, in the yep. you know in the community. Mm -hmm. So I think seventy five percent of our business is what um came from referrals and yes. repeat business and last year. That's, so, and that's, that's so this business too and that's important and that's how it's grown. It's through the people. Yeah. Four. Four children. I have two oh, wow. sons. Okay. My husband has and my husband and I have two together. Okay. So we have four in the house. We're busy. We're very busy. busy. They're 13, 11, 6, and 3. So they run the full gamut. Oh okay. my goodness. It is a madhouse, <laughs> but in a good way. Well, the kids love all, they love Pirate Fest. Mm -hmm. They love all of those events. Oh, that the, the festivals. Town. Yeah, the yes. festivals. They do. The watermelon they, festival. Yes. Do they love go to the Shad Festival. I have not been to that one. Maybe <laughs> we should try that, but they do. They love going to all the festivals. Mm -hmm. um, they love their schools. Our kids are in the Wintergreen Hope D.H. Connolly District, mm -hmm. and the schools do such a good oh, job on putting on events and taking care of the kids, and our kids love their schools. That's awesome. Yeah. I know recently Wintergreen did a fundraiser and um, I think didn't the principal have to dress up like a hot in a hot dog costume? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was he really did. Neat. And that's at Christmas time the principal sat on the sign the last day of school before school was released for Christmas break in an elf costume. Oh. So it's just those type of things that the school is providing for the kids that they make it exciting and fun. And that is very important in education. Yeah, I agree. Just do it. No matter how much money you have, just do it. You can start with nothing. And um, don't go into debt. <laughs> don't go into, I mean, you have, you have to sometimes. But not too much. Know your limit. Mm -hmm. But just do it. Yeah. You don't know if you can't do it if you don't. I agree. Just try. I agree. In, in real estate, we call that red light, green light, because you play red light and you stop if you don't have the, the budget or the funds That's to be right. able to do something. And you play green light when you want to try something new. That's right. And so that keeps you from going into that. Yes. So, yes. Um, honestly, I will say that our church, Open Door, is amazing. I've heard such good things about Open Door. They are amazing. I mean, there's, that's all I can really say is that they are amazing. And if you don't know anything about Open Door, you need to look into it. Um, the outreach, the what they pour into kids, what they pour into um, all of their believers, it's just beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. So I have been to, um, I had a, a women's conference, weekend oh, conference that I went to. They do an amazing conference. The worship yes. service was great. Oh, um, the worship there is, oh, it, <laughs> it makes me cry yeah. on a regular basis. <laughs> Woman of my heart. Yes. Every, every time, like, that, that's my favorite part. I just can't keep the worship. Yes. 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 It's, it's pretty We have 10 hairstylists here. Oh, yeah. They are awesome. They make the boulevard. I'm here to support them. I'm here to do whatever they need. I'm here to crunch numbers and sweep the floor, but they are what the boulevard is. I love that. You sound like a wonderful leader, oh. and like I said, you have just a great spirit around oh, you, you. Um, and great energy, so thank I'm you. sure that they enjoy having you. Well, it makes me emotional, because I just love them I so love much. It. I love it, and I love coming here, so um, for all of you guys who need a hairstylist, you really need to check out the Boulevard Hair Company. Um, thank you, Caroline, so thank much you. for your time today. I'm so glad you came. Yeah. Thank you.